Water trip me out how they body just fall apart like that. Boy, these video games, I love it. It's a great way to work off your aggression. And Bernie Mac got a lot of aggression. You know Bernie Mac's situation. My sister, you know, she's taking a state sponsor vacation. You know, she got a little problem with drugs. Now, my wife, Wanda, and I, we taking care of her kids. Don't remind me. Them doggone kids. I like to tear they doggone head off. Blast them to a million pieces. Shut them up for good. Ah! Ah! <laughs> now, hold on a minute. I know what you think. And you wrong. Bernie Mac is not a violent man. This is what Bernie Mac does to relax. Because in real life, we don't sell our differences this way. That would be wrong. We're not animals. Despite a reputation for being solitary, wolves are seldom without company. And when they hunt, they hunt in packs. Jordan, what are you doing in the house watching TV? It's beautiful outside. You think we live in Los Angeles for the culture? I'm watching the Discovery Channel. Son, you can watch this crap anytime. Now go outside and meet some of the boys. No, but I want to see what happens. The lion eats the hyena. Now give me this glass and go outside and enjoy yourself. Uh -huh. I had a young kid, man. Can get a stay in no dog on house. When the wolf pack spies a prospective prey, it moves in unison, cautiously surrounding it, searching for signs of weakness. Sensing an opening, the pack works as a unit to keep the prey confused and off balance. When ready to move in for the kill, the first attack is made by the strongest member of the pack. This is the alpha wolf. Okay, hold right there. Man, those kids gonna wind up being your best friend. You watch, see, you watch. A fight? Damn. Man, was he hurt? No, no, just tell him I'm on my way. See, the problem is, Jordan, my nephew, he's small for his age. And like most small kids where I come from, they constantly get picked on. But I'm gonna tell you something, you ain't got to be big to be tough. You look at one all-time boxing great sugar ray litter. Over here. What's up, Red Baby? How you doing? Now, my man Ray, he was small, but he was wiry. He was like the little Japanese car. I mean, compact, agile, built for speed and had endurance. And I can bet you if someone called him a sis, I had my dollar make change out of his ass. Hey, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Let me, I'm excited. Let's move on. Let's move on. Now, Ray, seriously speaking, from a champion perspective, how would you assess my nephew's skill? Bernie, it, it seems to me that Jordan lacks speed. Uh huh. This man has zero self-confidence mm. and is totally lacking in the fundamentals to make a great fighter. I mean, he's, he, he's the loser. So he's he definitely gonna get his ass with that. Oh, I will seriously consider homeschooling. Jordan says that he's sick and doesn't want to go to school tomorrow. Is something going on with him? Mm -mm. Baby, don't worry about it. I'll take care, okay? I'll learn how to fight. You're gonna learn how to fight. Get up. Quit being so difficult. But I'm working on my magic trick. Give me that dog on magic trick. What you gonna do when somebody start picking on you? You gonna disappear? I don't want to. Well, you have to. Now listen, the first thing you need to know about defending yourself is to avoid a fight in the first place. And what I mean by that, man, if somebody start picking on you, you gotta show you can take it. You gotta come right back and start picking on them. How do I do that? Well, um, you can start by insulting their mama. What if I don't know his mama? We're talking about universal mamas here, Jordan. It applies to all mamas. You got to be inventive. Dog gone now, Jordan. So if you start hitting on somebody, mama, you got to hit them with it hurt. Go for the juggler. If their mama's fat, you got to say something like, your mama's so fat, I poured a half a cup of water in the bathtub, and when she sit down, it overflowed. Uncle Bernie, that's me. What if I like his mama? You don't know his mama, Jordan. How you gonna like somebody you don't know? What if his mama's dead? Jordan, his mama being dead ain't got nothing to do with it. What you sitting there talking about her mama dead for? Look here. Forget about it, okay? Forget about it. We're gonna move on. We'll go to plan B. I'm acting crazy. <laughs> uh, relax, relax. Jordan, Jordan, it's just whipped cream. I'm trying to make a point. So you gotta make people think you're crazy. Don't nobody mess with you when you phone me. Jordan, listen, listen, listen. You gotta get loud, man. You gotta act weird. Somebody get in your face. You gotta make them think like you. Like you crazy. How? 
about your body language, your voice, man. Got to, people step to you, man. Tell you better back off. You better back off. No, no, listen, listen to my voice, man. Don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with me, man. I don't play. I don't play. You better back off. You better back off. Don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with me, man. I don't play. I don't play. That's a dead boy walking right there. Bernie, right, teaching that boy that violence is the answer is just wrong. So now I'm not teaching that boy no violence. I'm trying to give him some uh, schoolyard diplomacy. Give him some tactics, man, to keep him from fighting. Baby, I know you. What you mean by that? You know that boy needs something, Wanda. He's soft. He is not soft. He is. Jordan is a gentle soul. Oh. He doesn't like fighting. He likes magic tricks. What is with this dog on magic tricks, man? That's what happened to Houdini. That's how he died. He got his ass kicked over there at the magic shop. The man hit him in the dog on stomach. If he knew some of your mama jokes, he might still be alive today. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> oh. I wish I knew some magic. Oh. Oh. What? What? Jordan? Yes, yes. It's your car. Take it back. Yes, yes, Jordan, yes. Jordan, Jordan, listen to me. Come on now. Come on, you mean to tell me after everything I showed you, you can't take a toy cop from a four-year-old girl? She's four years old. Now relax. Do what I showed you. Don't mess with me, I'll play. Hey, get it back. Oh, Lord. Ray, the boy's real soft. I mean soft. He's like liquid. You know, he needs more than fundamentals. He needs something like divine intervention. And that's why I come in. I was teaching my nephew a few playground moves, man, in case he get in trouble. First thing I told him is, if somebody mess with you, pick up some sand and you throw it in their face. He's take off running. That always worked for me when I was little, you know. Or you can improvise, especially if you're around some, some objects. Let me see that book. See here? That's this book that I was reading. See, look, I'm reading. I'm reading. Catch your mind in your feeling. Somebody come at you. Bam! And right in the throat. Right in the throat. Drop the book and start running. Oh, boy, I was dangerous when I was coming up, Ray. I'll tell you. Now, now, Ray, be honest with me. The few techniques that I just showed you and the people, what do you think my nephew's chances are right now? Don't get too attached to the boy. He's still going to have trouble. Yes, big trouble. Hey, why'd you do that? Because it's ugly, like you. Stop. Stop. What are you going to do, cry, baby? No. No, but, but your mama cried when you were born. How'd it go today, son? Okay. Anybody pick on you? Nope, nobody. I just did what you told me and acted like you. Now, nobody bothers me. My boy. Dang. <laughs> Guess it's a good day in school today, baby. Little Harry Potter himself and his magic tricks. The boy managed to conjure up some self-confidence. I told you, baby. All the boy had to do was go to school and act like Bernie Mac. And I bet nobody messed with him. I told him that. He did it, too. What? Hello? Who? Yeah, this is Bernie Mac. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. How you know your son wasn't picking on him? And, and he wasn't defending himself? No, I ain't calling you no liar. But I'm, I'm saying you do sound a little hot tempered right now. And if your son act anything the way you act right now, I can. Hello? Uh, hey, people, Jeff, they be calling wrong number, Jeff. I'm gonna raise up. Hey, who's listening? Jordan, I want you to listen. And listen well. Because I'm only gonna ask you this one time. Did you pick a fight in school today? No. Because I just got off the phone with the father of the boy who said you did. I didn't start it. He was picking on me. So you were sticking up for yourself, right? Mm-hmm. You're not lying to me, are you, son? 
Uncle Bernie, I promise I'm not lying to you. He's lying. He's lying through his flipping teeth. It's to be expected the boy's a bad seed. Hey, hey, Father Cronin, I don't believe that. I mean, George is too soft to lie to my face. People rarely want to believe their child is the problem. Don't you think it was hard for the apostles to believe that one of their own would betray Christ? And yet there he was, Judas, sitting there eating his body and drinking his blood. Mr. Mack, come take a look-see at your own little Judas. The nuns refer to him as the Holy Terror. Joy. You're going around picking up facts like that? Who told you to act like that? You did. Me? I ain't telling you like that little doggone bully. You told me to act like you. You said I'm a bully? I ain't no bully. I'm going to show you a doggone bully. You come here. Welcome back. When you think of boxing biggest bullies, you think of men with menacing, icy stares that could freeze their opponents cold. Brutes who beat their foes into submission. Men whose very name struck fear in the hearts of giants. Men like Sonny Liston, Big George Foreman, Mike Tyson, Bernie Mac. These bullies Hold on, hey, so hey, 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 hold on now. What? I ain't no bully. What are you saying? I'm saying I don't know where you think I'm a bully from. Well, well, Bernie, if you check your record out, it's clear. You've always been a bully. That's not true. That ain't true. Not true? No. OK. Let's go to videotape. Hey, baby girl, can I watch the TV with you? OK. OK, thank you. Hey! Hey! Oh, don't cry, Brianna. Bears gonna win. Bears gonna win. What a terrible mismatch. A heavyweight versus a flyweight. Picking on a little girl. I don't wanna do this no more, Ray. And now, the main event where we profile the series of battles between Bernie and his greatest rival. Little Magic Man Jordan. Have fun. I won! I got the high score! I beat your record! J O R D. Oh man! Look what happened. It just came out. It just came out. It just came out. Get in there, boy, I'll throw you in! No, what? Yes, it was. No, what? Yes, it was. No. Yes, it was. No. It was in a bag with my name on it. Hmm. Yeah. We found it. Hmm? Won't you leave? Okay. Bully. I ain't no bully. I know y'all don't think I'm no bully, do you? But y'all can get out of my house, too. He lucky he left when he did. <laughs> Shit, he retired. He ain't got like that no more. <laughs> he gone, ain't he? Jordan, I want to talk to you for a minute. Move, Uncle Bernie. I don't play. That's exactly what I want to talk to you about. Jordan, look, I apologize to you, okay? Because first of all, you're right. I am a bully. And worse than that, man, I've been teaching you to be a bully. Well, that's okay, Uncle Bernie. It works for me. Now, you can turn on the TV. <laughs> Son, you're not listening to me. I'm trying to teach you that being a bully is wrong. But I was getting picked on before. Now nobody picks on me. I get what I want, and I even get extra stuff. Look, I kicked this pee off of Eugene. I have a naked lady on it. Look. Give me this. It's not funny. And this is going back. And I want you to promise me that you're going to stop being a bully at school, Jordan. Okay. Don't okay me. Look at me and tell me that you'll stop being a bully. Okay, Uncle Bernie. I promise I won't be a bully at school. Thank you. Hey, that's mine. So? Yes, another one. That's the last one. 
What is wrong with you? Rhonda, 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 go to the mall. Rhonda. Jordan, honey, I'm on the phone. Talk later. Rhonda, go to the mall. What did I just say? No, I'm I said I want to go to the mall. Now, come on. So why can't that be? I don't play. I don't play. Oh, boy, must be out his mind to talk to me like that. No, I'm sorry. I'm listening. What? Oh, my God. Get it back. Give me back my crazy string. You want your crazy string back? You want your crazy string back? Yeah. Here's your crazy string. Hey, what's going on in there? It's Jordan. He's terrorizing the whole house. Look what he did to Brianna. It won't come out. You've got to do something, Bernie. You made this mess, you fix it. You know what to do. Vanessa? We don't really need a brother. Go ahead. Do your thing. Uh, wait. You can't? <laughs> now, that's the problem, America. You can beat some of the people some of the time, but you can't beat your kids. But see, this is my fault. I led by a bad example, and I created a monster. Now I have to destroy the monster. Now, see, with Dracula, you use a wooden stake. Wolf man, the silver bullet. And with little boys, you use the belt. But I've been stripped of my weapons. So how am I going to protect the villagers? Bernie Mac doesn't need a belt. Bernie. Join! Join! You can't hurt him. What kind of message would that send? Well, I'm sure I can't find him anywhere. I don't think he's in the house. There he is. Get him, Uncle Bernie. I'm gonna get him too, baby. Bernie, it looks like he's gonna pick a fight with the king. I see it, baby. I see it. We should stop him. No, 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 no. This just might be the lesson he deserves. Come on back, come on. <laughs> Sometimes when an animal is wounded, it is at its most dangerous. Tasting blood, an animal's natural instinct is to finish off its prey, except the human animal, which has a conscience. Son, I am really proud of you. Why? I got beat up by a girl. And you hit her down on the ground, you did the right thing. You stopped yourself. She looks really afraid. I mean, made me feel bad. That's good. You know what that tells you? You're not a bully. Yeah, I guess. Uncle Bernie, hmm? I should give Eugene back his pen. You think so? No, son, I think Eugene need to learn a lesson, too. You ain't been looking at this, eh? It's disgusting. Hey, want some magic trick? Okay, um... Okay, I can make a dollar disappear. I got 20. Right, let me see it. One. Right. Two. Three. Why, you look. I'm sorry, America. I did the best I could. A man got to be who he is. George! George! Watch out, watch out. Sister, look out. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. George! 